Howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there. Welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way? <laughs> no, no. Uh, fortunately, the streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen recorded homicides drop from 7,103 a year ago to just... Uh, hold on, uh, hold on. The streets are safe, you say, but what about the highways? <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry? You heard about the shooting off the Route 1 exit, I trust. Half an hour before any response team arrived on the scene. Over 700 rounds fired in that time. What happened? Where are the gunmen now? Well, the NCPD is responsible for the safety and security of all citizens within city limits. Sarah, Sarah, but, but, uh, sweetheart, don't one. feed us some NCPD script. Be honest with our viewers. When will they finally be safe? When will they no longer need to carry a concealed weapon for a trip to the mall or to take their kids to play ball in the park? Uh, I, the, the NCPD is doing everything it can. Huh. Look at that cop squirm. Tajimura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Just trouble. Usual stuff. Ah, ah. In need of iron and lead, then, I take it? Sure. Let me see what you got.
crisis has worsened. Refugee. Hello, I'm Eric Iqbal with WNS News. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Ryan has passed away. We learned of Mayor Ryan's death from his family, who died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Today, we all mourn the untimely loss of our mayor and dear friend, Lucius Ryan. But when we've dried our tears, we must look to the future. To the future Lucius envisioned for our fair city. I promise to do everything in my power to ensure his work will continue on. Rest in peace, my friend. Ryan's political opponent, former District Attorney Jefferson Perales, also offered his condolences. Mayor Ryan and I often did not meet eye to eye on political matters, and we sometimes traded sharp words. But even after our most heated debates, we always shared a handshake of mutual respect. Today, I say farewell to him for the last time. Thank you, Lucius, for everything you've done for our city. Who next will assume Ryan's mantle? We'll find out soon. The first polls following Ryan's death reveal a neck and neck race between Hall and Perales. Now, a word from our sponsors. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me, anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Varasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure, but... She showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. 
You know the kind. I too possess this slide as you speak of. You got tossed out lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are uh, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. The last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. With a bit of luck, 
I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Paka woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The woman is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us.
That you? Shit. Thought you were gone. No. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? seen you here before got a good memory for faces here for a good time looking for Evelyn Parker know where I might find her used to come around haven't seen her in a while though need to talk to punch and Judy she in her den yep take the stairs down I'll let Judy know you're coming. Scare away any customers, and you're out. What a face you have. Feast your eyes on this, huh? Tell me, baby, do I look as fun as I feel right now? Yeah, I said I'd come yourself a Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back here. lie. Judy's friend. Telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need help, they come here. Last time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. Come on, they all deserve a chance. Any one could end up useful. Give it some time, they'll pay for themselves. You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. 
Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Think I just woke up one day looking like this? This is real life. Got something to say? Say it. Uh, heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. Know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. Might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. Guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses at sheer cost, too. Why, looking to invest? No, just... Admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by. That's all I'll say. Heard you give the working girls a helping hand. That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot? Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first. Just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Gotten virtues off street dealers that were light years, Crisper. Congrats. No one cares. Apart from Judy. Oh, she'd love your feedback. Hey, look. Call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No pleased to meet you? I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. Hey, look. Hmm. What's this? Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both.
thought I'd never see my kids again. I can't thank you enough. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how, exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me, the truth of events at Kopiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. You sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one man. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset, I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. It's been a long time. Bukako Okada, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts. For Sandra Dorset, you did quite well. You and that friend of yours. Until then. Take it. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What have I missed this time? Enlighten Don't me. Make trouble. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Arasaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. That so the corps Three leave it to the gang. To Suits collars and get swept. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brained dead chick drags me around a cat house on a wild horse chase. So having a grand old time. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. 